Welcome back to the Chess Goals YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to make a London repertoire in Chess Base 16 in only 30 minutes time. I'm going to teach you guys how to use Chess Base 16. I'm going to teach you how to make a repertoire. And we're going to do the London because it's an easy opening to play. All right, so let's start the timer. See that timer up above my head? So 29 minutes. All right, so here we have a list of our databases. The first thing I'm going to do is go to new. I'm going to create a new database called London YouTube 2. This is actually the third take I've done of this video because Chessbase has been crashing on me. It's because I have too many things open to record the stream. All right, uh, so London YouTube 2. Now let's add a new database. So what I'm going to do is find my largest database. It's called Big Database 2022. Right click and I'm do a search. And then I'll click Advanced. And here what I'm going to do is plug in 1600 to 2000 ELO. I want players specifically in this rating range. That's who I'm going to build this course for. 1600 to 2000. And then let's also put in a year 2020 through current. Click OK. Now Chessbase is running a search on this. It's finding all of the games that it can. There we go. And the games are stored here in the search results. So now what I can do is Control A. That's going to select all of the games. Right click. And then do Selection to Book. And then it's going to ask me, do you want to build the tree of 45,000 games? Click OK. Now it's importing the games. And the reason I did a small rating range and only fast 2020 is so that this portion runs faster. But feel free to build a much bigger book of games that you want to have included in your uh, prep. So this opening book is currently a temp file. It's called temp and then a bunch of numbers. So now we can go to File, Save, Save Book. And here we can give it a name. We can see I've been already making a couple for the failed attempts. Let's call this YT underscore London. This is a book specifically that's going to be used to build the London course. And there we go. YT London. That's our opening book. Let's close out this window. Now I want to make a new board. So open a new board make this full size and hopefully this is readable I've been playing with the resolution of my monitor so that I can fit a lot of windows but also make it readable for YouTube we'll make this board a little bit bigger so here what we have is the board on the left notation in the upper right the opening book that we just created in the lower right we can go up to this view tab and we can add a reference search if you want so you can have a separate search that's based on Grandmaster games or just games of 2,500 plus. Currently, my largest database is my reference database, so it takes a while to load, but I do like to use this because it'll show me like which grandmasters are playing games most common. There's this hotness factor, so I can see like what's the most theoretical lines, etc. So I use the reference search quite a bit. You can also uh, toggle back and forth up here with the tabs, so you can have your reference search just toggled back and forth. And that's nice if you're on a laptop, for example, you don't want to have a million things open. And then you can also go back to the home menu and add a default kibitzer. My default kibitzer is Stockfish 15. To add a new engine, you do create UCI engine. I'm not going to go into that. But you can um, add as many engines as you like. You can have multiple engines running. So what I like to do is I run Stockfish 15, which you see on the left-hand side here. And then over to the right, these are other people's engines that have run at very high depths. So someone ran Stockfish 12 to depth 79 on this position in D4 at an eval of 0.17. Okay, so now let's make this um, our outline. So I'm going to do File, Save. London YouTube 2, click OK, and I'm going to call this the outline. 
So the first game in the database is called the outline. And I want to start D4. And now I'm looking at this openings book window here. Knight F6 is most common, followed by D5. I know I would like a chapter on just D5. So let's go D4, D5. Now I want to play Knight to F3. I like this move because it's flexible and we can play Knight F3 pretty much against anything in the London on move two. Let's look at Knight F6. Ship F4, so I'm kind of following the main lines for black after D5. This is going to be chapter one. Three, Bishop D6. So now you can right click and do text after move. Control A is the shortcut. I tend to use the shortcuts when I know what they are. And let's call this chapter one, Bishop Trade. So I'm naming this line the Bishop Trade chapter. If you're gonna put this into chessable, one thing to note is you always want to end on a move that's for your color. Otherwise, chessable will kind of give you an error. So if you're putting it into chessable, add an extra white move like bishop takes d6 or whatever move you want to play, bishop g3. Now what I do is I go back and I look for the first major branching point that I think is worthy of its own chapter. So here we see 4c5 is played 119 times out of 300. But I think I want c5 to be in its own chapter without e6, and then we can show e6 in those lines. So this is something that kind of comes with experience, thinking about those transpositions, right? So I, I know I want a d4, d5 as my chapter one, because even though d4, knight of six is more popular, it's gonna transpose to the d5 lines pretty often. So same thing here. I want early c5 and then an option of e6 later. So no branching points here. I back up two more. This is where I would like to look at C5. I can put C5 in here, Control A, and I'm going to call this Chapter 2, D5, C5 variation. Click OK. Now we can back up to this point. Bishop to F5, I think, is maybe worthy of its own chapter. You could create a miscellaneous chapter, but I only have 22 minutes left, so I'm not going to do that. And then let's go all the way back to move one and let's look at knight to f6, knight f3, g6. So here I could play d5, but that'll transpose to the chapters one and two most likely. g6 is independent. We're going to call this chapter three. King side, king kettle. And then the last thing I want to look at is what if they play a quick c5? These lines can cause problems. So I'm going to call this quick c5. Uh, and this is chapter four. All right, so we got four chapters here. Let's file save. Saved as outline. Now, what you can do to save time, we just saved it. That will show up in the database. You go back to your database window. Let's see, I have it here, London YouTube 2. If I double click that, you see it right there, outline. Okay, so minimize that, minimize that. So in the game window, the board window, you can do new game. Now I want the bishop trade line. So that went d4, d5, knight of three, knight of six, bishop f4, e6, e3, bishop to d6. Now I see bishop to d3, bishop to g3 are both good moves, but look at the opening book. Bishop g3, 63.2% for white, 1790 average rating for forming at 1887. And this green bar shows white's winning 55%, drawing 17. That's where we get the 63 total, scoring 63%. So I want bishop g3. Now the main move for black is castle, so I'm just going to go down this line. And here I see bishop d3 or knight b to d2. I like bishop to d3. Let's get ready to castle our king. Now we see c5 for black. It's the main move. c3. And I'm following this book here. Knight c6. Knight b to d2. And the number of games jumped up because we picked up quite a few transpositions in this line. b6. Now we see knight to e5, 58%, queen e2, 76%. And peeking at stockfish here, 
Queen to e2 at depth 51 is the top move. Knight to e5, though, does look decent. Let's go with queen to e2 because it's scoring well. And I like this idea of playing for e4 eventually. Bishop b7. Now we see rook to d1 or e4. I could check out the reference tab. See what the higher level games are playing. So we have, and then when I have the reference tab open, I do like to close this little extra board. So this shows Sam Sevians playing rook d1. Matlikov played e4 against Caruana. Nihal played rook d1. There's a lot of rook d1s up there. So I'm going to use that sort of as my tiebreaker. The strong players are playing rook d1. Let's go with that. Now at this point, we're down to eight games in the database. So here you could end the line and add some notes. So what you could do is say, position is about equal. I'd like to play kingside castle, knight e5, f3, maybe e4 eventually. There you go. So you got this nice safe position. You're 10 moves deep. You can add to this later as you encounter it in your games. Now I do that same thing and I backtrack. So I'm on a white move here, rook d1. I do the left arrow on the keyboard twice. That backs me up two moves and I see the other options for black. Bishop b7 is 11 games out of 13. So I'm not going to consider those sidelines for now. But as I encounter them in my games, I'll come back to this file and I'll update it. I'll add lines based on my games. So this is going to be your skeleton for the London repertoire and you'll come back and add more later. So here at b6, I do see rook e8, 15 games out of 88. Let's not include that one. Queen c7, 10 games out of 25. So we can include this. Queen c7, and now you see it makes it its own line. It's its own variation. And here, knight b to d2. It's played in all 18 games. Computer kind of likes bishop takes d6, but let's go with this move. Everyone seems to be playing it. Knight d7. Castle king side. Bishop takes g3 is the top move. H takes g. E5. D takes E is the top move. E4 also looks pretty good according to the engines. I like D takes E though. I feel like it's simpler. This is one I would spend more time on. Knight takes E. Knight takes. Queen takes. All this trades off. And now we need to fight back in the center. So let's go rook E1. Our plan is to play e4 next. So here we could end this line. Position is about equal. We'd like to play queen c2, e4, knight f3. All right, so we got a couple safe positions now. No real risk. And let's save this file while uh, before we get too far. So file save. London YouTube 2, click OK. And then what I like to do is I put the chapter in the white field, so chapter 1, and then the black field, bishop trade variation. There we go. All right, so that's our queen c7 line. Let's just kind of backtrack this again, looking to see should I add any more lines. b6 was kind of in the weeds there. e5. It's similar to what we looked at. So keep in mind, this is just sort of that skeleton framework. So I'm going to go all the way back here. Let's go to this point, b6 instead of c5. So black's not playing as aggressively. Knight b to d2. Now here's c5. It's going to be similar to what we just looked at. So let's look at one of the bishop out variations, bishop a6. Here I see queen e2 and bishop takes. I kind of like the idea of taking. It seems to misplace this knight a little bit. You know, the knight kind of belongs in the center. And here we could castle. And let's stop the line here. We got everything safe. We can say position is equal. I'd like to play c4. 
and attack queen side or play c3 and for the e4 break and the reason i'm finding these lines is because i'm looking through stockfish right i'm looking at this stockfish window and seeing what it recommends all right so let's save that here that'll be chapter one going back to our outline Chapter two was when they play three C five. So we're gonna have D four, D five, knight of three, knight of six, three C five. Okay. So back to the game window. New game. D four, D five. And sometimes for a shortcut, you can just click a square. And if only one piece can go there, chess base knows what to do. So D four, D five, knight of three, knight of six, bishop f four, C five. So some of the trickiest lines for white in the London are when black plays for an early queen out to b6. And I want to meet every queen b6 with queen to b3 because I want a very simple to play London. That's my goal. So let's actually go, e3 is the most popular here. Let's go c3 because I want to meet queen to b6 with queen to b3 every single time and stay consistent with that. So now we see knight to c6 main line on to e3. That looks good to me. E6. This is close to transposing to the line we just looked at. Oh, so if I put in an incorrect move like that, you can hit the uh, back arrow, go back one, and it's going to let me overwrite when I put a new move in. So I don't want to look at E6 here because I think it's going to transpose to the bishop D6 lines. I want to look at queen to B6, the more aggressive stuff. I'm going to overwrite knight H5. So now, like we said, queen to b3. I want to always meet queen to b6 with queen to b3. And here there's this kind of tricky line. And it looks like these 1800 level players know this line, c4. So we have the option of queen takes b6, or we can drop the queen back to c2. I want to avoid that endgame and show you guys how to fight back in the center. So queen c2, bishop f5, queen c1. You can't actually take the bishop. So you could put this line in here. New variation. Put it with a double question mark. It's a blunder. Queen takes b2, and then you could put an eval symbol, minus plus. Black is winning here. The rook in the corner gets captured. So we want queen c1. That's our main line. Um, let's say e6 for black, most common. Knight b to d2. And what I want to do is play for e4 as white. I want the e4 break. Bishop e7, bishop e2, castle, castle, queen d8. So black is going for b5. And you can add notes like this. Play for b5 and queen side expansion. So now we could play b3, h3. Knight h4, all of these moves are liked by the engine. Uh, bishop to d1 I've seen before as well, heading to c2. Let's go with a stockfish recommendation here and play b3. So we're going to try to chip away at the queenside pawns. And we'll say with a4, queen b2. Rook a2, rook f a1, knight e5 as ideas. And I do like to always note if the position is an advantage. Position is about equal. All right, so now let's back up looking for that first black branching point. I'd like to go back and look at the queen trade. So here, no one's really taking the queen, but that's something where you, you got to know what to do. So if queen takes b, a takes b, bishop g4, how do we play this type of endgame? Knight b to d2. Let's just say e6. So what I'm doing now is I'm putting in moves that feel natural for black, and then I'm looking at stockfish to see if they can be punished. This e6 is actually a mistake. Add a question mark. Bishop to b5, pinning the knight. 
Another thing you can do in Stockfish or in Chessbase, when Stockfish is running, hit the X key. What that does is it flips it and says, okay, if it's the same side to move again, what's the eval and what's the threat? Look at that. 95 is a plus seven. So I'm going to put that in the notes. Threatening 95. And black is in big trouble. So let's stop that line there. Remember, this is just kind of a skeleton chapter. And actually, we'll save it there. This is going to be chapter two. B5, C5 variation. There we go. All right, what was chapter three? Check the outline. Chapter three is the Kingside Fiend Keto. Okay. So, new game. D4, knight f6, knight f3, g6, bishop f4, bishop g7. So black's going for like a king's Indian defense. E3, d6. Now we got some options. h3, bishop e2, c3, c4, knight bd2, bishop c4. What do we want to play? Peter likes c3 and h3. Let's go h3. What I like about this is... We can play bishop h2 if black plays knight h5, trying to eliminate the bishop. So I like h3 in these lines that bishop can tuck back on h2 safely if knight comes out to h5. So castle is the most common move. Bishop e2, knight b to d7. Castle, this all looks good, so I'm following the book, but also kind of keeping an eye on the engine. Rook e8. And also keep in mind, if I were actually doing a London course at Repertoire, I would spend a lot more time, but I just want to show you guys the process. Knight c3 is a 0.5 eval. I like this. Let's try it. Knight c3. So the plan is a4 and e4. c6 is the only move in the book. If we hit the X key, threatens B5. So I'm typing that in, threatens B5. So here we play A4, preventing B5. And let's give black a developing move, queen C7. Now we can play A5 even. And hitting the X key, we might play B4 next. Okay, so we're planning B4. And queen side expansion. And also play e4 and go for center control. White has a small advantage. So I like putting who has the advantage because during the game, it's nice to remember like, hey, I actually have the advantage here according to the engine, or it's an equal position or I'm a little bit worse. Let's save this while uh, we're one line in. Chapter 3, Kingside V and Kettle. All right, looking for a branching point. B6, this is a little bit different. Trying to V and Kettle, queen side. Going for queen side, V and Kettle. Knight B to D2 or C3. So I would like to be consistent with knight to C3. It's not showing as a top move. Let's see why. Knight c3, bishop to b7 seems to kind of control the e4 square. So I'm going to put that in the notes. Let's first show our recommended line. What do we want to play? I think knight b to d2. I'm going to overwrite, and I'm going to put in the notes. Control a, text after move. Knight c3 is not as good. black will control the light squares after dot 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 it should be seven dot 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 means uh, black's move okay so knight b to d2 bishop to b7 and now let's go with bishop back to h2 
or a4. I think a4, that's a little more consistent with the other line. I hit the X key. We're looking at playing a5, c3. We still want e4. Okay, so let's just end the line here. We're nine moves deep. We like to play a5 or c3 and or an eventual e4. Eval is about equal. All right, file save. He'll say, do you want to replace? Okay. Four and a half minutes. All right, so what's our last line? Where is the outline? Where is it? Okay, here it is. 2C5. All right, this is the aggressive one, the most aggressive. New game. D4, knight of six, knight of three, C5. Do we play D5 here? Let's go C3. Trying to stay consistent. Always c3 after c5, and always queen b3 after queen b6. I want this to be a very solid London course. That's why I'm doing this. Let's do file save while we're in here. Chapter 4, early c5. So we have d5 here. That's going to transpose to other lines. And you could put that. Uh, you can say d5 transposes to, and then whatever line. Let's uh, put earlier d5. You can put transpositions. I tend to do that um, unless they're super obvious. So now e6 could be played. g6, c takes d4. Let's look at c takes d. That's a unique one. Now I'm going to make that the main line. Transposition is not going to be a main line. Let's look at c takes d, c takes d, d5 can be played here. We have not looked at a line like this. This actually transposed into a Slav exchange. You can see that down below the board it says Slav exchange in small font. Chess base knows. This transpose... And then we could have sort of a an easy Slav exchange repertoire that we want to play. Maybe we go knight c3, knight c6, and just play the basic standard line. White scoring 61% here. Bishop f4. Let's go with the main line, a6, b3, bishop g4, bishop e2, e6, castle, Bishop d6 is the main move. Let's take, take, and now Stockfish 14 at very high depths likes rook c1. I'm just going to say we have a very slight advantage and would like to on the queen side. Moves like queen d2, knight a4, double the rooks on the C file. There we go. All right, so now let's back up and let's look at an early queen to B6. I've seen this one before and it can be tricky. So see, if you play D5, that's a very different type of structure and so is D takes C. And E3 blocks in the London Bishop. Let's go with queen to B3. I know it's not the best stockfish move. I'm gonna put this. Not the strongest. Easy to play and consistent. At this point, if queen takes b3, we've already looked at a queen trade line. This is slight advantage. Actually, it's 0. 0.6. I'm just going to call this advantage for white. Advantage for white. We're happy with this trade. And I see the clock's at 52 seconds. So let's do one more line. Instead of queen to b6, let's say b6. So at this point, we have bishop f4, bishop b7. This is going to get us into a London structure, e3. Slight edge for white. All right, file save. That'll save us there. 
close this out. So now we got the outline, chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, and chapter four. And we can add to this as we see these games occur in practice.